Hey guys, G Adam someone here, and today we're playing GTA Online, and uh, this is my new garage, as you can tell, uh, with my four new cars. You have the Pegasi Vaca, the Class A Moonbeam Custom, the Imponte Dukes, and the Nagasaki Carbon RS. These are all new to GTA 5 for me, my new cars in the garage here. The Vaca being based on the Lamborghini Gallardo McLaren 12C 650S-ish thing. The Moonbeam looking like a mid-80s um, Chevrolet van. And the Dukes, which as you can probably tell right now, I've modeled itself after Dom's Charger with the gloss black paint and the blower, soon to be coming once they hit rank 53. Uh, my Carbon RS over there, my new motorcycle. Let's go ahead and take a look at my new apartment. The uh, Moonbeam is actually my uh, low rider vehicle, so you probably can't already tell. Well, the heavy customization done to it. Now the reason um, I got all this stuff was because I did get a great white shark card last night. I got a $20 PlayStation card and went to work. And um, as you can probably tell by now, I've done a lot of hard work getting this stuff set. And uh, it's paid off. Now of course my window doesn't really give me that great of a view. I can get literally a partial view of the beach, the uh, palm tree on its own really. And then um, over here it's your typical... just view in the middle of the streets. Uh, I've traveled down that road so many times lately. Just, wow. Of course, you got your TV front and center. Your telescope. Your uh, your kitchen and dining room area. Not that bad. I like it. Uh, and then you got your lower level. Which has the bedroom and closet joined together. And then your, I believe this is like, uh, there's no room here. But um, you got your bedroom and your closet. And then you got the bathroom. Very, very small bathroom. I was actually very shocked when I saw it. All right. So that's the apartment. Of course, my heist room is up here in the corner. Strangely, what would appear to be a speaker? The wall. So here's the heist room. Place with complete with heist equipment. Um, this rug and these computers. Well, the power surge protector is kind of funny. Alright, so let's go back to the garage. Let's hop into my new car. One of the new ones. Just take the moonbeam out for a drive. I haven't driven that in a while. So. And uh, I did buy a new garage down in. Um, Del Bureau Heights, I'll refer to it as the HKS Superstore, since HKS of Los Santos is my clan tag thing crew. So let's go ahead and head out in the moonbeam. Alright, I hope the radio is off. Alright, good. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a quick look. There's my house in Del Perro. And then at El Bureau Heights is the HKS Superstore. It's about a good, maybe two or three mile drive. Then it's a six mile drive up to Pluto Bay where the original HKS store is. Um, right next to Beaker's Garage where you can get your, um, it's basically a cheap man Los Santos Customs. And, uh, you get access to basically all the Midtown areas, um, all the Los Santos Customs are located in this area, so it kind of helps, winds up paying for itself when you think about it. That's a rollback on the van, wow. Heavily custom, dashboards custom, red ring speakers, red ring dials. Surprising this thing is very quick for a van. I know I was kind of expecting it to kind of fight me to get up to speed Get some serious backfiring Really bad burnout though This car is just one of the cars I need. I need that. That's going to be expensive to repair, but it'll be worth it when I get this car. What? Just back right into someone else's car. Oh wait, the radio's on, I just realized that. Whoops. Alright, where is the nearest Los Santos Customs? Okay, 
can't seem to find it. This will be closer. Wait, no, it won't. Yeah, there we go. That's more of a straight shot for me. I can just kind of gas it and go. Tell you what, these ballers are really bad on on overs here for John SUVs. Of course, ballers are based more on Range Rover Sports, and they have supercharged V8s. So, full throttle. Here we go. Not my car. I don't care. Here we go, almost there. Gang attack in the air. That's kind of like this thing. Plus, you can flash tornado poop. Boosh. Alright, spin my wheel. I spin my car around like that. Box trucks. Just, well, just killed that guy. This is really, really sluggish. Father's the life out of me. Hate slow speeds. Bye. That probably wasn't my greatest idea. Hopefully repairs will be that bad. Now I get asked a lot why do I always play in first person? To kind of give that bit that slight bit of realism. So I can kind of feel like I'm actually in the game, but it didn't really help too much. Are you serious right now? Well, shoot. That boy, that was a waste of time and 385 of my hours. Well, this is what I think. Stupid. Yeah. That's what I think. I feel better now. Much better after doing that. Ah, crap. Not again. I didn't even kill no one. I blew up an SUV. Why are you gonna call the cops if I just blew up an SUV in this game? Like, for real, bro. Cops are stupid as well. Give me the vodka. Give me the vodka. Let's go. Interesting, I'm right next to Lester. Is that a bank or something? I guess so. Oh shoot, those cops are heading right for me. I wonder if they leave my car there for a moment while those cops pass by. Hopefully if everything goes right, they won't see me. Because I am under the bridge. They shall not find me. As stated. Of course, I am in direct view again from the uh, customs door. I'm just gonna hide behind this wall. Camouflage completely. Ah, no, I'm trapped. Full sprint. Must get away. 
There's the car. Who got away. That was close. They were bearing down on me. Let's get back home. That was just such a bad waste of time. It makes me very upset. Very little traction loss. That makes me a little happy. Trying to avoid crashing in the way here. Of course, something's always going to ruin that. Dang it! Almost there. There it is. We made it back to the garage, so I guess that's a good thing. Before I got killed by the rest of the city by the cops. I mean, just look at those cars. I can admit that's a really great setup here. Hey guys, welcome to the Imponte Dukes moment of the day, where it gets a bit of fun. Well, that was kind of a waste of time. Let's try that again. Yep, that is how you generally wreck an Imponte Dukes, just jumping down a hill. All right, back to the video. Hey guys, we're back from the Imponte Dukes moment of the day. And uh, now we're gonna do some hydraulics, I'm messing around with some hydraulics here. Oh, the camera is refusing. There we go, focus. Now these do have the stock hydraulics, they're not the uh, heavy duty ones at all. So we're maybe a bit of Jim Cono with the van, huh? Well, let's do some Jim Cotton now with the vodka. Let's check the time real quick. Wow. So, as you can see, we have these two light poles here. Time to do some Jim Cotton. And I think we fail at it almost immediately.
I'm really bad at this, aren't I? I just keep staying right into it. I guess I kind of got it that time. I don't know if I'm going to fence. That one just doesn't seem to like me at all. Alright, and that'll do it for this Jadam Someone video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more from the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.